All right, Minnie. Ready to start docking sequence? Okay. Engaging retro thrusters now. Lunar transfer station Tacoma. Commercial. All right, so this is Tacoma. Evacuated. And this is about the fourth time I've tried to record this. Turned out air supply. I need to update my capture device stuff. So yeah, here we go. This is Tacoma, not to be confused with the state in Washington. Um, but yeah, it looks really cool. Um, we have a ship AI called Mini. I mean, look at that. That looks really cool. And we have Earth right there. Look at the lighting effects. And look at that. Looks really nice. Uh, so yeah, hopefully the rest of the game plays out just as well. And um, it's been, what, two hours since I started trying to do it, so hopefully it'll be worth the wait. Nice. Thanks, Minnie. So, this is by the same people that did Gone Home, which was... Well, I don't know, I've never played it, but to me it was much like... Um, uh, what Remains of Edith Finch, so if you remember that game uh, and liked that one, I think it's pretty much the uh, same with that. So here we are, we are Amy, and I don't really know what our kind of job description is yet, but we are on this ship, and I think the ship is called the Tacoma. So yeah, there you go, so open airlock. Minnie, I'm headed in. Talk to you when I'm back. Don't let anybody scan the ship while I'm gone. So yeah, look at this, we've got... You know, okay. your usual... Sci-fi element kind of thing going on here. So yeah, I don't know if this is going to be like an exploratory kind of game. Or whether there's going to be some sort of like, more sinister element. But I guess we'll find out. Take hardware. Wait for eight years. Okay. Hello. I am Odin, Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma's Operational Data Interface Network. I have recorded this message to welcome you, guests, aboard. Before I can set up your station profile, you must register your body positional data with Tacoma's AR tracking systems. Please place your hand on the AR figure's palm. So we have hand, but when we look down, we don't have any legs. So that's just, yeah. Your body positional data has been registered with Tacoma's AR network. So look, no legs. Oh my god. Please sign in to confirm your identity. Oh, okay. By signing here, you, contractor, confirm that you shall abide by the conditions of your contracting agreement, including in respect to all data privacy rights of Venturist Technologies and its subsidiaries in perpetuity, in perpetuity, Throughout the universe, all data on this Venturist facility is to be considered under the strictest confidentiality, and by signing here, you acknowledge that to access or transmit any confidential data belonging to Venturist constitutes as a felony, violation of orbital law, to which you and all of your actions are subject. Ooh. That's cool. Thank you. Welcome aboard. So we are Amy Ferrier. While aboard Tacoma Station, please remember that all activity on this facility is monitored by AR recording. All activity records become sole property of the Venturis Corporation. Any questions about privacy and personal privacy should be scared on certain instagrams. Oh, okay, now we're into... Anti-gravity. Okay. Interesting. 
This way to the Tacoma Dome. Bring your friends or don't. Okay. It's kind of banding about all over the place. So let's have a look. This one is green, even though it says denied. So that's interesting. Oh, there's a ball. Grab basketball. Okay. Okay. Now let's try and get our bearings here. Oh, okay. Amityoti Ferrier. So, what is this? Yeah, do we have a first page? How do we... There. Okay, so why are we here? We're a contractor, but what the we... Ventures Technologies. Okay, so let's just carry on forward. Hopefully we'll work stuff out as we go along. Can we access this? We can. Ooh. Orbital vacation bungles. I do like the whole, um... It's just like a neat concept, like the whole, like put your foot in a stirrup thing and hold onto a handle and it will fly you to the next bit, like that's pretty cool. It's super laggy. Like that's how I'm seeing it, that's not even just like the, the recording uh, thing messing up like it usually is. And now our fear disappeared, okay. So, oh. So that'll take us back, obviously. Are we meant to... The company has remotely disabled the station's AI's ability to directly affect operations on Tacoma or contact you via the station's AR net. Any attempt to communicate with the AI is strictly prohibited. Okay, so... What have we got? We've got... Obsolence... Ah! Obsolescence Day Party this way. We're we gonna be able to open that now, okay. So we're trying to get data or something. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, we can send you secure messages through this interface, but it's a one way connection. We'll be monitoring the situation from here. It's going to take a while for the first part of the AI net to go up. This is no simple file transfer. Okay, what, well, I just want to wait here for fucking ages. Okay, so while that's doing, whatever it's doing, I'll have a look. Feather ahead, see what there is. So, operations, we've got... The crew like areas, I guess. Is this like post? This is pretty cool. The 
Nicholas. I know that you... Yeah, I know. Your father would like me home sooner, but... Listen, you have your heart set on Amazon, don't you? Okay. And there's no way we're gonna have enough customer loyalty between your dad and I for a full ride by the time you start school. Not at this rate. So, we're just gonna have to pay some that tuition out of pocket. Yeah, just one more year. And I'm pretty sure I'll get it. I'm hoping. Okay, so what's all this stuff what? on the bottom? No, it's not dangerous. What do you mean dangerous? <laughs> Radiation shielding is pretty much 100% of the station like this. So there's no... Well, yeah. Well, it might have been manufactured 30 years ago, but they've upgraded. Man, no, we're... We're not all gonna get cancer or bone disease or. I suppose I am. Uh, listen, would it make you feel better to hear it straight departure. from the station doctor? Wait. Okay. You hold mean on. me? <clears throat> or? Hey, Sarah. Can I, uh, can I bother you for a second? What? Oh. Um. Sorry. What is it? I have my son Nicholas on AR, and he wanted to ask you. What? Um, it just, incidentally, is there anything we should be worried about with another year out here, health-wise? Radiation, bone density? Oh no. We spend almost all of our time in Earth gravity, and radiation shielding on a station like this is basically 100%. Yeah, see, that's what I told him. Okay, thanks, Sarah. Nothing to worry about. Okay, Odin, where Okay, so we, we can rewind, so we're going to have to rewind and get the other people's stuff. <clears throat> so Roberta here. Hi. What? Yearly hand count inventory checklist. Air filtration. So just general kind of space parts, I guess. Evie, can you get back to cargo? On our way. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, this will work. Matt. Hey, remember when we talked about how I needed access to Odin's direct interface? Uh-huh. Ah, uh, so how about this? Tell VT if they don't grant access to Odin, they're gonna have to find themselves a new network specialist. Oh, but, my God. <laughs> Nat, you're not even renewed yet. You don't have access to Odin? No. There's a whole part of the networking module I can't even get into. People, people, everything on this station is VT's property. We're subcontractors. They get to decide what exactly we do and don't have access to. It's in all our paperwork. So if you want to quit, then sh just quit, but don't make me your go-between. I mean, it is fair. How is she meant to do her job? Clive. Then again, rules are rules. Nat, I'll think about it. But for now, how about you just get the rest of this job done while you still have it? Aye, aye, Captain. Hmm. Hmm. So... I'm not sure if there's some sort of like kind of puzzle element here or something. Okay, so the yellow. Because that's highlighted. I'm guessing that means that we can access the. Yeah. Oh no, how we already did here, didn't we? Ah. Oh, okay. Okay. So someone do it. Okay. Okay. Right, so that's the obsolescence day party thing. Okay. We connect you with licensed therapists on demand. We're here to listen. Trying to focus on the bright side with Nat. At least it pays well. The isolation pays something. Feel like I'm holding her back. She's up here on this shit posting because it's all I qualified for. She could be somewhere so much better. Okay, I have got to do this yearly task thing now. Thanks for your time. Okay, so she's using like a therapist thing.
Where are the yellow ones? Because okay, so if, so where's yellow? Let's see where they come in. Okay, you. So where do you go? Where do you start from? Oh, so they're like in his room. So let's look at yours. Can we listen to it? No? Okay, hang on. Uh... Oh, maybe it'll play if I... Maybe that's what he's doing. So let's play it now. Where's he gone? Oh, well, that's what I expected. Yeah, we haven't heard who's staying on yet, and you know, it can be a tense time, as you know. But how are things at Carnival? I trust you got back to Terra Firma safely? No! You're already headed back out towards Jupiter. Why, I, I thought that... Oh yes, come on in, love. So are you rounding Sol, then? That's tremendous. Eight months! <clears throat> uh, Germ, I, I must leave now. Yeah, ring me again before the resplendence leaves Earth space. Okay, so let's have a look at the other stuff that he's got on there. Alright, can't... Here we have a message from the Orbital Hospitality and Logistics Union. Final day that commercial industrial orbital facilities would be operated by human crew members. Oversight, putting a halt to the obsolescence of these brave workers in the face of advancing automation. Okay. What else we got? Is this one gonna. Yeah, okay. Banter. Okay, so basically he's just been looking up at like a how to talk to people kind of thing. Okay, let's see what these guys say. Dutta. Sorry about that. An old friend from my carnival days. Consorted with the enemy? <laughs> Worry not, Mon Capitan. I am nothing if not discreet. Are you gonna miss me, Clive? If VT kicks one of us off of this pinwheel. Miss you? How could I? The next thing VT would receive after ending your contract would be my letter of resignation. Oh, so you think I'm the one who's getting shit canned? I mean, considering how indispensable I am, naturally. Evie, can you get back to cargo? On my way. <clears throat> May I? <laughs> That'd be nice for a change. What is it? How I needed access to Odin's direct interface. Uh huh. Ah, uh, so how about this? Tell VT if they don't grant access to Odin, they're gonna have to find themselves a new network specialist. Oh but my god, Nat, you're not even renewed yet. You don't have access to Odin? No. There's a whole part of the networking module I can't even get into. People, people, everything on this station is VT's property. We're subcontractors. They get to decide what exactly we do and don't have access to. It's in all our paperwork. So if you want to quit, then j just quit, but don't make me your go-between. I mean, it is fair. How is she meant to do her job? Clive. Then again, rules are rules. Nat, I'll think about it. But for now, how about you just get the rest of this job done? Okay, so if we go over to these guys, and while their that is stuff is open, now that I know you, that you can like pick between... Come on. All right, so let's look what else is on this one. Finances. Real currency is more stable than consumer loyalty. So this is the botanist. Okay, and two of his things aren't accessible. Do kind of you not have anything open? Here's his contract info if you want it. For Hassan. Okay, so that's the guy they were talking about. Oh, 
0315 for Sarah's locker code. So maybe if we follow her, maybe it'll go back to her room. Where's she gone? So now we can have a look in her locker. 0315. I think. Okay. So three days ago was when stuff stopped happening then, basically. Okay, so she's into fitness. Is that meant to be of use? There's a wrapper. Okay. So Venturis Avocado. Okay, so right stick, clicking that is the, uh... Crouch. 42 days ago. Okay, so we know that she was on it. I don't know why it was locked, it's not like there was anything of that much... ...note in there. And I like the whole hand signal thing to find um, footage and stuff, that's cool. Alright, so we had a bit of uh, an issue there with the recording stuff, but hopefully I've gone through and tried to clean it up a bit and sort it out. But anyway, yeah, here we go. Carrying on, and uh, I found this um, panel thing, and we have the gym locker number here, and there's also some information about um, Siddiqui not wanting to have this position, maybe, and he'd rather be doing something else, which is why he's filed for another job. So, 1407 is his locker, so he's trying to work out where we were. And his is this one, so four. There we go. So he's got a comb. There we have a key now. The bunk drawer. Ah! And he's got his private quarters up here. Personal quarters. No, Germ, look, I just, I don't know, I don't know why, uh, all right? I mean, you, you know how I've always been. It's never real in my mind. <laughs> why would she give a damn about me? Of all the people... Oh, shit. Oh, bollocks. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm spilling scotch all over Atlas Base. <laughs>
Okay, so he's talking to the Burgess guy again. Okay, so that guy's going away with that other crew or whatever. For eight months. Not in the least, all good Britons are trained in presenting proper high tea and in bullshitting, they have AR tutorials for everything these days. Right? Is this the draw? Oh, this one. Okay, so there's a letter. I write to congratulate you in your recent appointment to the Advisory Council of the Tate 20th Century. Your prestigious career in the arts has been a constant inspiration to me. To that end, I have continued exploring advancement both within the Venturis and without when I left Hilton after graduating Hilton University, I was so excited for the possibilities at Carnival, but as you told me then, foregoing company loyalty for fickle opportunity is a fraught path. I have been working to claw my way back up ever since. Trust at least that I am trying my best every day. I promise to tell you more about Evelyn Victoria. She is the administrator of this station and her wit and candor keep me constantly on my toes. And for what it's worth, I am deeply in love. I dare say she might well meet your approval. Perhaps on our next shore leave, a visit to the family estate is in order. With all my love from Clive. And that's to Bernadette. Of what relation? I'm not sure. We have a an empty lid, which is for this. Now. Darling, I found these on shore leave in a quaint Brighton Market store. They brought to mind the colour of your chestnut eyes. And he scribbled out and said, Stupid Clive. Bracelet. Okay, so simple wooden bracelet thing. Does the other one got anything on it? No inscription or anything. Packet of softlets. Okay. So we can just like go around like fuck up everyone's stuff and just like pick everything up. What is this? Crew member personal station, Clive's just jazzing around mix. Okay. What else we got through here? Oh, just like a... Toilet. Oh, so is, is that... Okay, it's just like a, a window shutter thing. So at this rate, I wonder if the... How far we are with the um, percentage transfer thing.
50.6. That sucks. Alright, so we'll go along to here. I don't know if this was open before, maybe I just wasn't even aware. Death sentence. Okay, you seen that? There's like creepy yeah, shit like popping up on the bottom. Yeah, but I mean us, us, not the whole crew. I guess there's just something special. Something special about Tacoma Crew 88. Yeah, not just special, it's unprecedented. I looked it up, it's never happened before. Well, everything happens once. Oh, personally, I'm happy for us. Happy to be stuck up here with these people for another year. Some of them. Who does the new models out? You trade in the old one What's for so customers. about these people? Well, they live in a tin can for one thing. I think it's a pretty nice cam. Oh, and you have a pretty nice cam. <laughs> so is this just like a little viewing bridge or something? This is like Evie's area now. We can have a look at that. Oh, cool! They've got like a snooker table and everything. How the hell do we get through there? Okay, not that complicated. And there's like a calendar thing and a cat again. Odin audit report. Discussion with Odin. Okay, it's like your typical calendar schedule stuff. No one appears to be through there. Okay, so we're gonna have to try and work that out before we go through there. What's this? Oh, that's cool. Like the floor light logo thing. Blah, 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 more stuff. Okay, party stuff, not that interesting. Anything else? Failed. Okay, deaths of workers. Dangerous chemicals. Okay, interesting stuff. So there we have something of interest. So what's up here? We've got Evie St. James, who is the one we were just looking at, I believe. Playing the guitar. Friends, then let's keep dancing. 
rough brooch. Let's break out the booze and have a ball. If that's all there is. Um. Ugh, really. <laughs> I don't know what this is for. What else we got? Medicine bowl. Topic. I wonder if we can play it. Can we play it? No. Oh. Well, we've lost a pick anyway, so good job. Okay, so here's another guy that we can look at. Okay, so cake recipe for the thingies day from Jermaine Burgess. Okay, so that's the same guy that uh, he was calling. He's got a relationship with EV, so I wonder if that's Eve, whatever. Yeah, that's just the fridge, okay. That's it. Thank you, Odin. That'll be all. Yeah, but we're the ones who have to. Eat it. Well then, no need to keep the good people waiting, eh? Evie, we're about to cut the cake. Ah, great. Um, be right there. Here it is. Odin's masterpiece. Sarah, come on up. It's ready. Gather round, gather round, everyone. As per obsolescence day tradition, tonight's festivities have been planned entirely by our all-knowing, all-seeing computer companion, Odin. He provided specifications for the uh, cake, uh, the decor, we humans only did the grunt work in his grand plan. And so for your enjoyment tonight... Oh! Oh! Whoa. What the hell was that? Odin, what was that? Debris has... I have righted the station's orbit. Meeting frog? I'm a bit concerned. Wait, um, so there's no oxygen on the station except what we're breathing right now? Correct. Additionally, how long does that give us? Sarah? Jesus, how much we should have about 48 hours no, of breathable I'm air. Trying other Maybe VR channels. If Odin's readings are correct. All right, I'll have VT send up a fresh supply straight away. Uh, guys, it might not be that easy. Additionally, external communications have been lost. Jesus. So we've got no air supply, no external comms, no way to call for help. Well, anybody got any bright ideas? Okay, so there you go. Now we know kind of. Uh, Maybe more. If Odin's readings are correct. Nope. What happened? So they got hit by a bit of orbital debris and sustained damage to the oxygen which means that they've only got a certain amount left for how many days? Two days. And obviously this was three days ago, so... 
Vai ser lá. Ok, so who else we got? We got this one we can look at. Okay, so she wants to get off as well. And she likes that band, she's in the shower. What else we got? More party instructions. So, we can go downstairs, there's literally stairs there and I just couldn't work it out. Tacoma. So we're missing an O. Or you can take them off and put them on, kind of. Oh no, we broke it. Oh dear. Alright, so let's look what's down here. This is like a board game. Calm. Oh, you can actually pick up. Oh, that's cool, look. Well, this table's wonky as fuck, apparently. Okay. Anyway. So there might have been more down there, but I guess not. Lavatory. Same old. Ah, okay. So I wonder if there's a way to... find out the room number. Check how long the uh, thingy toll has to do. Hundred percent. Okay, good. So I guess you had to go in like both rooms then, and then it would download. That's right then. Let's see if there's anything. Oh. Okay, cool. The world building is pretty fun in this one. In my opinion, anyway. But what's that for what that's worth? One, two, two, eight. Alright, we could try the bell jar, that's like an actual butt. Right? Or something? I've heard of it. Oh, that's gonna random. Okay, one, two, two, eight. We, we'll, we'll try that on the door and see if that helps. Boom! Cool. All right, what we got? Give me something good.
Okay, so they kind of knew that it was a possibility at least. Even if it wasn't like probable. Okay, so she's trying to access stuff that they don't want her to. And there you go, Evelyn, Victoria, St. James. And she had a thing going on with, uh, what's he called? Clive. Come on, draw. Oh, oh. So there's her and her sister. Alright, interesting. Anything in the bin? There's a letter. Dear Mum, I was looking through some of Karen's things and I thought I'd write you. Hope you've been doing alright, it's still really hard for me. I've been trying to find. something. Anything else? Any hidden... Okay, cool. Alright, well with that, that's, uh, that's gonna be it. So, that's it with part one. In part two, I'll uh, detach this data transfer device which makes everything orange apparently when you look at it or not okay that's weird uh so yeah so thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you guys next time for part two thanks a lot